exciting episode of The Spicy Life. I am your relationship expert and magnetic matchmaker, Spicy Madi. And on today's episode, we have the infamous, the hilarious little James Tucker. The crowd goes wild. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe I got you on the show. Oh my gosh. So excited yeah. to have you on The Spicy Life. I'm uh, excited to be here. Yeah, you have such an amazing energy, which I'm sure your whole, you know, family and, uh, you know, all your friends know. But thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be a fun conversation. Okay. I, I always, you're excited. I love that. I always give my guests a spice breaker. Okay. So usually I'll ask, when is the moment that you first fell in love with yourself? Now, while I understand that you are how old? I'm nine years old. Nine years old. Okay. So you can either answer, when did you first fall in love with yourself? Or when did you first realize that you were a star? Well, um, which one should I answer first? <laughs> which, which one comes naturally to you? Which, one, which time did I become a star? When did you realize like, you know what, mom? I'm a star. I shine bright. I need to be in front of the camera. The time when I did my first video and it went viral. Ooh, okay. So that's when you realized you had something going. Yeah, and I and how I saw all the views and all the comments saying how oh my god he is so funny. I realized I got a talent. <laughs> you sure do. So what do you consider yourself? An actor, a comedian? What are you? I don't, I, I consider myself a comedian. I love well, I like both because I make people laugh and I'm a natural actor. I love it. I love it. Okay. So we're huge on self-love when it comes to the spicy life. At what point did you decide, I love myself? I am a dope kid. But I, 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 I realized that when I went, well, when I, when I was like, when I was like a kid, which I still am, <laughs> and, my mama told me, and my mama told me everything she told me, everything she told me, like she told me, when she when she was having me, she told me she prayed over me. She told me I, I wish that I was a smart and healthy baby. And here I am. Here oh, I, I am. <laughs> you were like, we see, how, we see how it turned out. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay. So little James, you have to understand that I am a relationship expert. And all the content that I create or anything that I post to my page is very relevant to relationships. So I came across a video that you did where you're having this conversation with your mom in the backseat. Mama, what I'm, I'm just telling you, I'm done with Bianca this time. I'm not worried about Bianca this time. Just know, I moved on to bigger and better things. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> now I'm about to... And I, James, and I ain't about to James. say because I see your camera right now. Okay, yeah, because I'm, I'm going to post Bianca, you doing this. Bianca, if you're seeing this, just know, Le James Tucker is done with you. <laughs> He's done with you. James. Because hurt me. That's a pain that nobody can fix. James, how the girl hurt you? Oh. James, it's not that serious. You, you, you know really getting your you know feelings. What, you know what it is? Pretty girls that just the work. That, mm. James, I thought you loved Bianca. I'm done. And you're speaking about a girl named Bianca, okay? I posted this video to my page just thinking it was really cute over it so that my, my audience would have some context about uh, relationships. I put, you know, you um, telling us for the hundredth time that you're over your ex. Cause I have a lot of clients that keep going back to their exes. And then underneath that was like, you know, me laughing. So once I posted this to my page with that like exact title over it, just so the people would understand. Winds up so far getting 4.5 million views on a video of you, on my page of you. Okay, isn't that insane? Second part is, Taraji P. Henson, then repost my video that I put of you with the, um, yes, exactly, Taraji P. Henson, 
post the video that I created of you. I mean, it's your video, but I posted it with like talking about how many times you go over the X and she reposted the exact video. I think Taraji's at like 3.5 million views on her page. But either way, overall, we've got millions and millions of views on you guy. How does that feel? It, it, it makes me feel good because it, 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 it makes me feel like that I know when I'm doing my videos, I'm not just doing it to do it. Like people see me, see me and I'm getting, and I'm telling people things. Like it, 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 it makes me feel good. Oh, I love that. It should. You are an extremely funny and talented person. And I'm sure people tell you that every single day, but I'm reminding you that you already got the spice, okay? You have that it factor. And I'm sure your mom is so extremely proud, but you have to tell us because I got so many comments. I've never had as many comments on any video I've ever done as your video, okay? You have to tell us, is Bianca a real person? Was that actually someone that you had a crush on? Or was that a skit that you did? No, it's like a real person. Like I, me and B, I, 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 like me, I was, I was so young, and, and it was, it was just like crazy. Like everybody went crazy because I'm just like four, I'm four years old, knowing, knowing all this, and like my, like my mama and my grandma, they was telling me like, James, you're too young to be in love. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm in love, mama. I'm in love. Oh my goodness, so you were really in love with Bianca. Mm -hmm. How did you know that you were in love with her? Like what What did she do to make you fall in love even? It was just her, it was just her herself. Hmm. Like when I met her, like me, I was young. When I met her, I was like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> at that point, I just knew I was in love. La James, you are in love, brother. Okay, this is so sweet and endearing. But you're four years old when you met Bianca? I was not. I was like. How old were you in that video you created of Bianca? I, yeah, I was, I was four years old. Okay, so you're four in that video. Bianca goes to your school. Where do you know Bianca from? School, church? How do you know Bianca? The neighborhood? <sighs> this is, this, this Bianca. <sighs> Bianca, <laughs> she is not my age. She is way older than me. Bianca's an older woman? Like, I was four and she was 24. <laughs> wait, wait. Bianca didn't go to school with you? Bianca was a grown woman, James? Now, look, this is the part that you're going to freak out about. The only way I met her, and I see, look, I met her. I was at my grand, I, my mama. We was um going to my grandma's house, right? We was going to pick up my uncle. When we go pick up my uncle, him and his girlfriend came out, right? And now, Bianca is my uncle's girlfriend. <laughs> so, so <laughs> that, that, that's how I know her. She's my uncle's girlfriend. Okay, so let me get this straight. You started crushing on your uncle's girlfriend. And yes. did you think? that you were dating your uncle's girlfriend? Did you think that you fooled her? Like, what made you so attached to Bianca? Because when I went, like, me, I was young, so I just expressed myself. And when she got in, and when she got in the car, I talked to her, and I was like, I was like, Uncle, I, I stole your girl. She my girlfriend now. That, that's, that's what I said. I was, I was, um, and, I, I was so young, I did not know how I knew all these things and mm -hmm. all that. It's just so crazy. Okay, so give us the backstory then. If Bianca's like 24 and you were four at the time, there was no dating then, because I'm sure you're not like taking Bianca out on dates or giving her flowers. What, mean, were you, what were you doing? Like, for Valentine's Day, I was giving her flowers. <laughs> okay. Now, see me, I feel like I had all the girls because... At first, I was in school at the time, so I had one girlfriend. Then I liked this other girl and this other girl. It was three girls. I like I had four Valentines that year. Like, I I, I gave I gave one girl a teddy bear. I gave, and, now, and now this is true. All my like my uncle and my grandma and my auntie, we all had to go to the store and pick out this stuff. I got one girl a teddy bear, one girl some flowers, and one some chocolate. Oh, so you gave everybody something. Yes. 
I was, it, it was Valentine's Day and I gave all them something. <laughs> and what'd you give Bianca? I, I, I don't know. I think I gave her some flowers and a titty bear. Okay. So we're recording. It sounds like five women, maybe at the time, four or five women. What happens where Bianca breaks your heart? Because it sounded like she broke your heart a couple of times. What did she do to you? Well, me, I feel I broke up with Bianca when and I see I thought I thought that that was my girlfriend for real. But what made me break up with her is because I feel like I feel like that she was that she was still with my uncle and not with me and I got mad. So I just told her, no, I'm done with you. And it and like I call myself getting back with her and I break up with her the same time. So now we just cool now. That's just that that's my auntie. <laughs> like, I think, like I think like two years later, I am um I am six now and I get back with her like two years later. I am I I, I am back together with her. Okay, so you got back with her. So there was a makeup breakup situation going on between you and Bianca. Now, does Bianca know she's your girlfriend or <laughs> is this just all Lil James Tucker? I, I thought she was my girl. I thought she I thought she was my girlfriend because I told I because she because I, I don't know. I, just, I think it was just me. I think it was just me. OK, so it was just in your head. OK, uh, so she's she's a, clearly an older woman. So you have, a, you know, grown grown man's taste so she, you wind up finding out that she's still with your uncle and that's why you broke up with her but are you guys officially done done or is this a situation where if bianca came back in the picture you would take her back again it's done 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 okay done it's, it's done done why is it done done because i i i, I realized like little james what are you doing this is your uncle's girlfriend it like you 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 like you are nine still trying to call this girl your girlfriend I, you you know james you gotta find a girl your own age and me i ain't find nobody me i'm not trying to find nobody i'm trying to focus on my school and get my good education okay i love to hear that so that right there is uh self-love and self-growth you're pouring into yourself so you don't have the five women anymore that you gave uh, flowers and candy to on Valentine's Day. You're not dating anyone. No, no, I'm not dating anyone. And now see the um relationship with the three girls at my school did not go good. And I see one of the girls told me I had to choose between her or one of the other girls. And I had to choose her. Her name was beautiful. <laughs> I um, no, like this was that was her actual name. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> her name was beautiful. Now she she um now she she lived now the only way I would see her because she lived next door to my cousin. I did not know that. So when I went over there and I saw her outside, I was like, beautiful, you live over here? I'm like, yeah, I live right there. I'm like, for real? My cousin lived right there. So with that, I got I, I, the reason why I broke up with her. Is because well, now see, I used to be able to like we were, like her parents knew that she was my girlfriend. Like I would be able to go over to our house sometime. And the joke that we always used to have was like, "Oh, you still got the you?" St well, no, I gave her I gave her like the flowers. I gave that was the one I gave the flowers. I was like, "You still got them flowers?" She was like, "Yeah." We would always laugh about that. But see, the only reason why I left her is because she was crushing on my cousin. Hmm. It sounds like there's some complicated family dynamics going on when it comes to yeah, your but see, like, <laughs> me, me and my cousin, we 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 like together, like this like he not even my cousin, that's my brother for real. Mm -hmm. So when she tried to so when she tried to um like one time, we were um we were all playing outside and she asked him to, she asked him, she asked him, can they can she talk to him about something? And when they did she, they went they went behind the tree because they didn't want me to hear my cousin came out they was like he was like bro she liked me i was like stop the cap i was he was i was he was like i'm for real i'm for real she liked me i was like what you i said what she talked to you about 
He said, she she said, I like I like you. I like you. I want you to be my boyfriend. He told he told her, I you like James. He said, she she said, I don't care. I want you. And then he she tried to kiss him. And I told I I my cousin, my cousin ran and he told me. That's 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 why he that's he my that's why he like my brother because now see if he wasn't my brother he would he would have he would have got together with her mm -hmm. and stuff. And so question was that another heartbreak for you because it sounds like you've got some feelings hurt uh because you're how old now you're nine right now or you're seven years old right now. I'm um I'm nine right now. Okay, you're nine right now. So in the course of birth to nine, how many girls have you had crushes on? Now, see, that's a question I do not know. Okay, like three or four, five or six. We're talking a hundred something. <laughs> I'm okay, so it's safe to say that you have a big heart. You have a big heart, little James. Do you fall in love easily? Not easily. I'm now. See me. I'm a changed person. I, 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 I don't fall in love easily. Okay, what does a girl have to do to get your heart? Don't show me, show, show me her true colors. Hmm. She got to be her authentic self. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what makes you like a girl? Is it uh, that she's good in school? Is it that you think she's pretty? Uh, is it that she makes you laugh? What are the qualifications to uh, make you the like last, her? The last two. Okay. Like, she makes me laugh and she's pretty. Okay, so if the girl's pretty and she makes you laugh, she's worthy of your heart. Mm -hmm. But she gotta, she gotta, um, she gotta also like, you know, don't be toxic. Ooh, what do you know about toxic? So let's talk a little bit about toxic because it sounds like you were in a couple toxic relationships, right? You were in the backseat of your mom's car, almost crying over Bianca. We all think <laughs> watching that video that that you were in a toxic relationship. What do you know about toxicity? Tell us. I don't, I, don't, I don't like toxic because, like, if I'm in a toxic relationship, I'm like, oh, no, you got to go. You got to go, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Like, I, I can't be with you anymore. I'm sorry. Like, it was good while it lasted, but I can't I can't anymore. Can't deal with it. What are the no, signs? Of, what is the sign that a woman's toxic, little James? What are the signs? How do you know when a woman's toxic? Well, they cheat. Hmm. Okay. What else? Um. That's that's. And, and if they accuse you for a lot of things, even though they know it's not true. Hmm. Okay. All right. So a little. There's there's some lies going on. A little. Uh. Maybe gaslighting you. Okay. And has that happened with you or any of these girls? Mm hmm. Okay. Did Bianca do that to you? No. Well. The toxic part, that was me and Bianca. <laughs> I'm hearing I'm hearing accountability. Oh my God. I'm hearing accountability. Look, you're setting an example for older men out there that are currently dating in relationships. And I see that that's that's something that me and Bianca, that's the reason why. Like a B, a B and a J did not go together. Same with beautiful and James did not go together. Oh, wow. So you're realizing that there's something about like the initials of their letters, of their names. No, not not that. It's just it's not all girls. It's not all girls that got the name of B. It's just like some of the current. It's like just like Bianca and Beautiful. That was not it. I know they got some girls probably like, no, that's probably not toxic. That got the that got to be in the name. I this mean, is you true. Can't, like, don't rule out all Bs. Don't re don't rule out all B names. No, now see, that's that's something that's something else. You can't. That's like that's like the saying. You can't um, you can't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. So let me ask you something. Uh, who sets an example for relationships? How do you have so much passion? Is it your mom? Is it your dad? Like, who set the example for you on like all these crushes in your love life? I think I just got it. I think I just, I don't know. I just got it. You just got it. You just started falling in love. Yeah. Like, seriously. 
has your mom ever had a conversation with you about uh, relationships and women or girls? Yeah, see the conversations that me and my mama had about that. It's, it was the videos that be that begin posted how I was like, Mama, I am not I am not going with Bianca anymore. Like the things that she say, that's the things that that was the real conversation. But other than that, I do not think me and my mama have a conversation about that. Oh, so you just decide like, Mom, I have a crush. You're gonna have to accept this woman. Um, there's no conversation about it. Uh huh. <laughs> Okay, your mom probably gets a lot of laughs and hanging out with you. Do you have any siblings? Uh, I got two. Okay, and then are they older or younger? I'm the oldest. You're the oldest. So you're setting the example for them on love. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I wouldn't, I, I, like, I would tell them a couple of things that I know, but I wouldn't recommend it. Why? You know, now, see, me, if I had good taste, I would have not been with Bianca or Beautiful. Mm. Uh, me, I just not see me. I do not. I, all I see, all I see is all I see is they beautiful. That's all I see. Mm. That, and then I just start getting. I just start trying to get with them. That that's all I see. I do not. I do not um be looking. I do not just be observing. When I see me, the only reason the um like see. The reason why I got with Bianca, and the reason why I broke up with Bianca is because she was she was um, still talking to my uncle, and um, you know, my mama told me she was like, James, you and Bianca is toxic. That's what she said in one of the videos. Mhm. Mm I saw that. Yeah. So, so with you being able to like look at those past videos that you made in your relationship with Bianca, if you could give yourself like maybe three spicy tips, three pieces of advice, right? You could travel back in time and have a conversation with your four-year-old self. What would be the three pieces of advice you would give your younger self when it comes to dating? Like, we're talking about like before I got, before I had my first, um, before I had my first girlfriend and I did, and I like, um, like never had a girlfriend before. Mm -hmm. Just, you could go, you could travel in time and give yourself some advice. You're going to sit down with yourself and give yourself some advice before you start dating. What are you going to tell yourself? First of all, make, um, don't, 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 don't give with Bianca. Bianca is not the right, is not the right person for you. And secondly, now see, they had one situation when I was in, when I was in school. Don't, um, don't, don't, I, I forgot her name. Don't um, don't um, don't get don't get um, don't make that per don't make that person your girlfriend, cause they 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 they'll change you like a piece of bread. They'll change you like a piece of bread. What does that mean? Like you you get you get like like you get like you get one piece of bread. Mm -hmm. Like they 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 they'll just like I'm the top. Like they'll treat you like the top of the um. Like the top of the um, the loaf. Yeah, the top of the loaf. Okay. They they choose you at first, but then change you. Hmm. So they'll swap you out. Mm hmm. Okay. And then what's the third piece of advice? What's the last thing you would tell yourself, looking backwards, like what you would have done different? I think that's all the things. And um, another thing is um, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, I love that. That's still something for us to like take away, right? Because everybody's trying to have healthier relationships. I want to be able to give my son these tools because I don't want his heart hurting. The way that you were like so powerful and passionate about the situation with Bianca, we all felt so bad. How did you get over Bianca? What did you do to heal? Uh, I just I just thought about it and I was like, I think it, James, it'll be better for you to like you know, focus on yourself and, you know, like be focused on yourself more. What does being focused on yourself look like? So tell me like, what's a day in the self life? Care. of day? Like self-care. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, you know, focusing on your school, make, making sure you get A's and, B, and A's and B's on every test. I love that. Then what do you do for fun? What I do for fun? I, um, I like to play Roblox. 
Oh, okay. Will you does a girl have to know how to play Roblox in order to hang out with you, or will you teach her? Um, if she don't know how, I'm a teacher. Okay, I love that. I love that. That's so good. And then right now we're not focusing on relationships; we're focusing on self. But when we're out here at school and people see that video, do you feel like you're a celebrity now? Does it feel like people recognize you when you walk through the streets? It, it's yeah, it's like that. Like like one time we we'll be like me and my mom we'll be in the grocery store, people just be walking up like. Oh my God, that's your, you, you that boy from Instagram, right? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, look, James. They're like, yeah, that's you. And I'm like, yep, yep, that's me. How are we that's saying, me. how are we staying humble? Because all this attention, like it has to make you feel good and it has to, you know, make you feel like I'm on top of the world right now. How are you staying humble? Do you know what humility is? No. Okay. <laughs> Um, humility is when you um, don't see yourself, you know, above anyone. When you see, you know, you, yourself as uh, uh, you're as uh, an equal to everyone, and you operate from just a place of like gratitude. How do you? Um, and it's just it's just grateful for what God gave you. How do you stay in that mindset where you're just grateful for what God gave you? How do I? I, I stay in that mindset like because. My, like my like my mama always tell me she tell me like James you know you get all this famous stuff but just know you still you still just you still just you know a boy you can't let all this fame get to you mm. yeah that's 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 and I like mama I, I I will never let let to the fame get to my head oh I love that so you're confident with that mm -hmm. I love that and then what's for the future? So like talk a little bit about, uh, share with us, you know, what does little James Tucker have planned for the future? What are your goals? Uh-oh, you just muted it, little James. You just hit the mute button. There you go. What are your plans for the future? My plans for the future, I think my plans is to, um, you know, like, my goal for the, I do not, I do not know. I did not make my mind up yet. Oh, okay. Give me some of the options. So like, if you had to choose a career, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, when I, when I, what I want to be when I grow up, I want to be like, I want to be all these things. I want to be a football player, a basketball player and a scientist. Ooh, I love that. So you're not tripping off of being like in front of the camera. You're not trying to be an actor or a TV star or anything. You already feel like you're a star in everything you do. Like, and that too, I do want, I do, like, I want to be in, like, a lot of movies. And one of the movies I really been, really, really, really want to be in, I want to be in, like, an actor movie, like, you know, like, like a superhero movie. My favorite superhero is Spider-Man. So I would really want to be in a Spider-Man movie. Ooh, okay. So I love Spider-Man, and I want to make sure that I see Ant-Man when it comes out. Oh, I think Ant-Man just actually came out. So that's going to yeah. be like something I see um really soon. But what's your favorite thing about Spider-Man? Why do you connect with Spider-Man so much? Because like Spider-Man, he's like a cool, he's like a cool person. Like I to, like I ask my mama all the time. I say, Mama, if you had three wishes, what would it be? She told me it would be to like, you know, be able to fly, you know, be able to be um be like successful and um like I forgot what the last one was. I, I I forgot, but I know what mine would be. I want I would like to be um I would like I would like to have the abilities of Spider Man, be able to climb on walls and be able to shoot webs out of my own wrist. Okay, and what would you do with those powers? Are you rescuing people? What are you doing? I'm rescuing people. Okay, so we have we have a we have a savior spirit. <laughs> oh, like, me, I would be like. I, um, but I want. I don't want to be like this little solo Spider Man. I want to be like, you know, probably like Spider Man, like me, like me, like I'm the younger Spider Man, and I'm like, you know, helping Spider Man save the world. Yep. But you know, Spider Man always had a kryptonite, right? His weak spot was Mary Jane because he loved Mary Jane so much. So is that gonna be something we gotta watch out for, little James? 
Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. It's those girls. We got to watch out for those girls. Those are going to be, those are going to be your soft spot. Now see me, I learn how, like, I'm, 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 do I'm dodging them, like. <laughs> You're already putting those, those spicy, those spidey senses to the test. I call, mm -hmm. I call my relationship superpowers spicy senses. So when I have like uh, something that's intuitive that comes to me or something that I know that a client is going through, when I advise a girl or a guy on like, hey, maybe you should avoid this or this is a potential red flag. I call those my spicy senses, but it's similar to spidey senses that, that Spider-Man has, right? So let me, let me hear a little bit about your household. So when it comes to um, mom and your siblings, Right. What's the age difference between you and your siblings? Me and I see my youngest brother, he he um he's three. Three. Uh-huh. My sister, she is um I think yeah, she is six years old and me, I am nine. And you're nine years old. So do you have to take care of your siblings? Because I remember I was the oldest and I would always have to babysit. Yeah, like when like my mama would tell me like James you the big brother so like when pop when um when Pablo get done Pablo he is my youngest he is my youngest brother he she said if Pablo or Jelly that's my sister if Pablo and Jelly you know leave a mess behind you the oldest brother you you now see with Jelly she's um she's six years old so you gotta tell her to pick up her mess now see with Pablo. He's three years old, so you gotta um you gotta pick up after him because you 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 my help. You is my you like you you my oldest, so you gotta help me. This is true. My mom used to tell me the same thing. Are you still in school or are you doing homeschool now because you're a star? I'm doing homeschool. Okay, I figured that much. I'm like, it was probably your, your mom's probably doing a lot to try to like help your career and make sure that you're getting education plus getting yeah, your uh, media. How often do you like tape and make like videos for Instagram? No, see, I haven't been doing that like a lot. So I, I like, I got I to gotta get back on that. You do because yeah. we're looking forward to follow up stories. We love the stories from you. Cause I'm not like, my family been waiting on me. They, Cause I, 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 I ain't been, do, I ain't do a, a, a lot of videos in a long time. Why, what's been keeping you so busy? You know, I just got back. I just got back from out of town. And, you know, like, I've I, I, I been slacking. Like, my mom been letting me. <laughs> <laughs> I hear, is that your mom? I hear, I think I hear mom in the background. <laughs> What's this, Pam? Oh, hi, Pam. Uh, he's been slacking. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get back. I gotta get back to my regular routine because my people been waiting on me. Even my grandma, she be like, James, I'm gonna need you to get up in the morning. You know, do you a video because you that that's I need you to I need you to do these videos because you know I need to see all videos in the morning. Mm -hmm. I need to see how you men like it's like it's like coffee like in that. the morning. It, it wakes us up. It brings us so much joy. So many people oh. would hit me up and say, "I watched this video of Little James twenty times just to get a laugh." Like people need your content. People, yeah. people need content man like yeah like I, mean, I, I, I i like man i gotta i gotta i gotta stop slacking because a lot of people man like james where you been like i like if i like if i go to like a family reunion and i'm not and they know i haven't been doing any videos they're gonna be like james why you ain't been posting no videos i'll tell them like i've been slacking bro facts we gotta get you back on it we need your stuff we need those laughs where did you go on vacation did you go on I vacation? Went to, went to go visit family? What'd you do? I went to Lake Charles for Mardi Gras. Wait, what were you doing at Mardi Gras? <laughs> I had not me. I did not. I didn't go anywhere. I was um. I was with my grandma for Mardi Gras. Oh, okay. I'm like you weren't in the parade or anything, were you? Uh. -uh. Okay, so you just went to go visit grandma, or would you just went to Mardi Gras with grandma? I um we stayed in the house for Mardi Gras because see me I think I got I think I got everything I needed because when I got out of there my grandma she gave me she gave me all these beads all these teddy bears I was like 
I got everything I need for Mardi Gras. Oh, that's so fun. I'm happy you got to experience that. That was probably a good time. I uh, not even that. It wasn't just me and my grandma. It was my grandma, me, my it was my grandma, me, my sister, and two of my cousins. Oh, you guys had a party then. Uh, well, I wouldn't call it a party. We was all in there playing the game. Like, it wasn't Roblox. It was Among Us. Oh, okay. Is that, is that your favorite game? It's, I haven't played Among Us in a long time. I just started back playing Among Us. Do you play any sports or anything? I want to play sports. My mama tell me I'll get hurt if I play football. I want to play football. Oh, so maybe if you get your good grades, uh, your grades good, she'll let you play football then. I have a I have a good grade. She's just scared that I'll get hurt. That's it. That's what's holding her back from letting you is she just wanted you to hurt yourself. That makes sense though. Parents are protective. Uh and I'm 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 glad that I have a protective mama to let to let that that lets me know. Like you don't just have a mama that just feeds you and you know take just bow for you and let you go. I have a mother that cares about me. Mm, what's your favorite thing about your mom? What do you love about her? We have a good bond. Like me and my mama is like peanut butter and jelly. Oh my gosh, I love that. How are you guys so close? You guys do a lot of stuff together? Um, uh, like sometimes it'd just be me and it'll just be me and my mama. It's like, man, mama, you wanna um you wanna go sneak out and go to eat out to eat? Like I do everything with my mama. I love that. Do you take your mom on dates? Now, see, when we go out to eat, that is the dates. Yeah, that's the dates. Who's paying? Your mom or you? Now, <laughs> 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 see, the, my mama have be paying for the dates. Your mom is paying, but at some point, you'll be able to take care of mom, I'm sure. Yeah, sometime I'll, I'll be able to, like, when I'm older, I know I know what I'm going to be able to do. I'm going to have me a car and I'm going to have me some money and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just be able to put, matter of fact, not even that, I'm going to just be able to go in my mama's room and be like, mama, you want to go out to eat? And you're like, I'm, 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 like I'm not going to, I'm not going to want to, I'm not going to stay away from my mama. Like I'm going to have this big, like me and my sister, we be talking about this all the time. I'm, we're going to be like, um, she be like, James, when we get older, you want me, me, you and mama to have the same house? I'm be like, I'm be like, yep, we're going to have this big old mansion. And me, you and mama going to be living up in there. Aw, that's so sweet. What about your other sibling, though? Where are they going to live? <laughs> you know we be saying that too? He going to live with us. Oh, good. That's very nice of you. <laughs> I'm like, don't forget about your other sibling. I'm like, you told me you got two other siblings. <laughs> I n I never forget about my brother. Okay, I'm like you gotta watch out. You gotta watch out for your brother and your sister. So, are you protective of them? Uh, -huh. like sometimes, like one time when we was in Lake Charles, there was this one difficulty I have in Lake Charles. Like it was this one. It was it was like this group of boys. It was this group of boys. They had one. They had one little brother. They had two little brothers. And they had three big brothers. They looking about twelve. And um, me, me, it was just, um, my, it was my, um, my cousin and my sister, they went outside. Both of them ran inside. That was like, James, James, they, um, they got somebody try to jump us. They, um, it was me and my cousin. It, um, they said, James and, um, Javion, they got somebody try to jump us. I'm like, what? So we both go outside. Um, one of the youngest, one of like the older ones. They would. He was about to call my sister out my out her name, and he almost put his hands on my sister. I backed him out. I'm like, mm -mm, ain't none of that over here. He and they was all they was all doing that. They was throwing mulch at my cousin, and all that. They even tried to. They even tried to try to um jump. Like they, the three brothers, they both tried to jump. They both tried tried to jump um. John, my oldest cousin, and I was like, uh-uh, we ain't doing none of that. So I was over there because they was all right there trying to jump us. And I had to, I had to defend all of us because they were sitting there doing that. Me and my big, my big cousin and me, that my cousin, when we got back in the house, my cousin said, James, you had me scared out there. They, they, <laughs> I was, I, he was like, James, you was not playing. You had me scared out there. 
you got to put them back in their place sometimes. When people get disrespectful, sometimes you got to let them know what time it is. Mm, um, I, that's that's my family. I'm not about to let nobody disrespect my family. Okay, I love this and everything that you shared, little James. Uh, we're excited to see more content from you. So thank you so much for like joining the show and talking to us about your goals and about your love life. Um, thank you so much for your advice. We're super excited to see more stuff from you, but I want people to be able to know like where to find you. Um, if you're coming out with a book, if you're coming out with a joke, um, a joke book, if you're <laughs> coming out with a website, like where can people get more stuff from you at? That's T at Lil at Lil I have um I got jackets, I got jackets, and on Instagram, my name is Lil J, my name is Lil James Tucker. You can find me on Instagram and um on Facebook. I think my name is Lil James Tucker. And Wait, you tell me you have a store? You have a whole shop that we could buy stuff that says Lil James Tucker? Not not a shop. I don't know. I gotta go back because I, I don't know. I don't I, I didn't um like we I, I don't know. I gotta go back and see because nobody ain't been nobody ain't been buying the stuff, but I think my um, <laughs> They're going to buy it now that we know that it exists. Now that we know there's a website that we can get a jacket from you, they're definitely going to buy it. But I do not, I do, I, I do not think um, I have the website, website anymore. So I got to, we got to go back and we got to see about that. But um, other than that, with my YouTube, I got, I'm coming out with a new YouTube and stuff. But yeah, the Instagram and the, and the Facebook, Lil James Tucker. What's gonna be on the YouTube? What can we expect to see on the YouTube? On the YouTube, I um, on my YouTube, y'all y'all gonna y'all y'all ain't even gonna know what I'm coming out because I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of stuff. Y'all y'all ain't gonna be able to keep up with what I come out with. Oh, you got us in suspense. Okay, we got we're on the edge of our seats. We gotta we gotta stay tuned to see what's up next with you. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Okay, you guys, everybody, make sure that you go and follow him. This is a real talent right here. Uh, we get to see him at, at such a young age. Little James, we know that you're going to be a star. You're going to be the next best thing. So we're super excited to like watch your career unfold. We're going to wrap up the show. You guys can go to thespicylife.com. Click and subscribe to this episode. Share it with a friend. Make sure that you guys uh, pass this episode along. And now you have the full story about Little James Tucker. Make sure that you guys also go to Spicy Mari. And there you guys have it. You have just been spiced. Thank you, everyone. Very Thank good. you for watching. The Spicy.